Uh, hello, everybody joining me right here. Um, welcome to my short Amazon video for the LTAB model number ELTG M05-1 uh, PC arm. Uh, as you see, I have the arm and I have it installed on my ASUS monitor here. And it was very simple to install. And I ran into a small problem. So I'm going to go over this with some of you guys here. If you have a monitor where the VESA plate, the area where the VESA plate um, goes in has a little indentation like my monitor here, here has, like this right here, this little indentation square here, you're going to need to do something a little bit different because what I did was I installed the VESA plate already on the monitor and I thought I was going to take the monitor and then slide it over the arm right here but that couldn't happen because that indentation in my monitor caused a problem and it wasn't going to allow my monitor to fit, to fit into the grooves there into these particular grooves right here it wasn't going to allow my monitor to fit in there because of this indentation space right here so if i would have jammed it in there i would have probably broke my monitor or um, damaged part of the arm so what you have to do if you run into that problem is take the VESA plate off of your monitor take that off and instead of installing it on your monitor first install it on your arm first have that already hooked up the plate hooked up to your arm and you're gonna have to sort of wing it you're gonna have to um, put your screws here into the VESA plate and then take your monitor and sort of like hold it upright and then use the screwdriver to screw in the monitor that way. Yeah, it, it actually wasn't that difficult. What you can do is you can get a stack of books or something like that to put under the monitor, hold it up, or you can hold it up with your arm or just have another person help you. And it, it's pretty simple. That's the only problem that I ran into uh, with that. Um, other than that, everything's fine. The arm, it's working pretty good. Uh, as you see it here, there's cable management right here, right here. This is the cable management and there's cable management right here on the bottom. Now I'm using the cable management for my display port and my HDMI cable there, but I'm not going to use it here but simply because uh, my display port and HDMI are not that long. And being that they're not that long, I don't want to bend the cables too much here because they don't have that length if they have more length they could hang a little bit lower and then i would use the cable um the cable support right here so that's why i'm not using that but other than that that is fine um as far as usage uh i have no problem using the arm um as you can see here you can twirl the arm you can do it on a 90 degree and let me back that up and you see my monitor is just sitting pretty on a vertical stance and, and your cable support is still good. It's not going to make sure your cables are long enough. So when you want to rotate your monitor like that, you don't rip out your cables and stuff like that. So 